Well, it's uh, finally, finally spring. No more snow, no more none of that. It's been raining, you know, for, for many days this week and last week. So, if you look around, we're in a different scene now. This time, we finally climbed up the mountain. We're right here in the Appalachians. You know, we're about three to five hundred feet up already. And in other places you go, you got further yonder down, you might be hitting all the way up to about a thousand feet above sea level. But this here is home. It's starting to finally get green. This is April right now as we're speaking. And just now, we're starting to get buds. Starting to get buds now. Trees are still kind of bare. Usually around this time of year, trees are pretty much green. It's been a harsh winter, to be honest with you. But I figure, you know, it's that time to uh, Check out the mountain once again. It's been a few years. Because the last how many videos was down in the lowlands, you know, we got some of the swamp down there and but up here. Up here no whole new story. Came across some bones. Look like a deer to me. Why don't you show them to us? Let's see the bones. Now, keep in mind, you know, I'm a little bit nuts in the head, but you know I collect bones. <laughs> and uh found some leg bones and deers their legs hmm some bit that part off wouldn't be surprised there's bears up here some big enough to eat them crunch up the bones and leave them as is But one thing that I keep in mind, when you're up here in the mountains, it's not a walk in the woods. You gotta watch your back at all times and you gotta have more than one person with you. Never go up in the woods alone, especially. You know, when you're in the mountains, you look around, there ain't nobody here but you. <laughs> so you never know it'll come across and, you know, say a venomous rattlesnake come up, bite you in the leg. Bear in Big Blue House when I sneak up behind you. <laughs> Bears ain't jokes. They ain't no joke. You might even come across a mountain lion. You might come across a wolf. Coyote. Coyotes attack people now. No. Even other people. You just never know. There's no telling. But what I do like about these mountains, it's a money maker. And the reason why I'm saying that is because, you know, we've got all kinds of things that you could be collecting and harvesting from these woods. Ginseng season is towards the end of this year. So, once June comes around is when ginseng plants start sprouting. Come up here and... <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> come up here to see where the plants are. That way, once September rolls around, thousand bucks a pound, man. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> life is good up here. You just gotta know what you're doing. So, if you don't know what you're doing, you've never been in the woods before, don't even bother coming up here. Cause it's also physically exerting, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, sir. It's worth it worthwhile and uh, you got all the food you can eat you know, right now squirrels are out squawking and acting up you know jumping around tree to tree well we ain't got a gun with us this time next time we get a gun we'll eat, eat good you know we got rabbits but, uh, shockingly, I haven't seen any rattlesnakes yet. This is all rough terrain. You look around, you know, you got boulders, you got a little bit of some cliffs down that way. So, 
Really? You gotta know how to know how to be in these woods. That's just anywhere. From northeast all the way down Georgia. It's pretty much all about the same. Well, if we find anything to eat. Hey, we're eating. Be good. <laughs> well, that's all I got now. Uh, I'll get back to you when I can. When something good comes around, you be first one to know. It was good. <laughs>